Well, there it is. The Zerstur 45. I don't know. I don't speak German. I should have listened to how to say 45. Whatever. Uh, if anybody cares enough in the comments, I'm sure you can read it there. Uh, in the meantime, because I speak English and it's written in English here, it's the Zerstura 45. So, quad SPAA with four motor cannon 103-38 cannons for anti-air on a Panzer IV chassis with the fold-down pop-out sort of BFW um, uh, kind of build there for the upper armor slash gun platform. So this ought to be hilarious. 42.6 degrees a second on the turret rotation speed. Down 7, up 80. 450 rounds a minute. Reload rate, 4.8 seconds. Um, battle rating of 6.0, rank 4. So it fits nicely in my 6.0 um, all-time favorite lineup here, which rip 5.7 when it used to be 5.7, but they, they hold up all right at 6.0. The possibility of seeing 7.0 tanks sucks, but I mean, really, so did 6.7 when they were 5.7, so really. Anyway, uh, crew of five, which is good, because this thing's probably going to take a lot of machine gun and uh, shrapnel damage and explosive overpressure damage. We'll probably lose to that a lot, but whatever. Um... Max speed, 24 miles an hour. That's not great. We're not going to move along too dang quickly over uh, rough terrain, but what can you do? Uh, 3,433 for the max repair cost as a stock vehicle. It's efficient at researching ranks 3 through 5. 344% on the RP, 240% on the Silver Lions. That is with a premium account. And there you go. Let's see if I have anything... I don't think I have anything in Germany to research, period. So, yeah, I guess we kick it back over to helicopters now. Now that that's unlocked, we have, yeah, I have nothing left to research. So we'll uh, research back on helicopters. Yes, that's right. Okay, so I doubt that research will be efficient, but it's better than just not researching anything at all. So let's take a look at the modifications. Um, in the first tier, you've got the ability to put the side skirts up, which shows the VFW as the uh, example, which is pretty hilarious. So it will restrict your turret rotation a little bit on the VFW. It probably doesn't restrict the turret rotation on this thing. It shouldn't. Uh, it may prevent you from firing directly to the side directly behind you, which you'll be able to do with it right now, but it should allow you to still fire directly forward, I bet. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it'll only let you fire at an upwards angle. I don't know. We'll have to find out if, if and when we uh, unlock that. But improved horizontal, uh, upgraded high explosive ammo, upgraded um, armor piercing ammo, and then actual AP. Um, oh, I guess it's AP. Oh, HVAP. Yeah, okay. Actual HVAP shells at the uh, fourth tier, which would be nice. And then, you know, adjustment fire elevation and artillery support. Elevation is going to be nice, but horizontal is pretty important. So parts and FP probably first, and then I think back to horizontal, or maybe parts and horizontal, then FP. Probably, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how bad things feel when we go, and then we'll adjust from there. Uh, looking at the x-ray, ammo stowage all over the place, and I'm going to bring all of it, so that's, that's just going to be the way it is. So not much you can do there. Not much armor either. So let's take a look at the camouflages, and we'll get this thing into battle, so... We got your standard, we got your su standard summer camouflage, or, well, yeah, summer camouflage, which, your standard camouflage, and then standard summer camouflage in the description, but, summer camouflage for 200, um, camouflage points, that's a good one, spots for 400 camouflage points, lines is 500 camouflage points, winter camouflage is 300, so I don't know why they're not in order, I mean, I get they just put them in the traditional order, but, like, I don't know, anyway. Winter camouflage and waves can be purchased for 200 uh, golden eagles. Hinterhalt Tarnung camouflage is uh, 600. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Tricolor M&H is 700. And Tricolor Man is 200 golden eagles. So there are your camouflages. All right, let's uh, slap this sucker down with some decorations and get to battle. Okay, battle one, here we go. Teddy and Nomi just uh, want you to see exactly what's going on in the front here. Okay, now that that's out of the way. So I'm going to try and get here or here. And 
basically swing this baby sideways and just riddle anything I can see there. Like I said, it is not going to get there quickly. 24 miles an hour top speed equals probably 15 to 18 at best across most War Thunder terrain, which is mighty unfortunate. America, Russia, Italy, and Israel. Okay. Panzer IV chassis is um, fine, but maybe not a 6.0. Oh boy. So it looks like we have what, 30 round, 30 round drums. Four 30 round drums. Oh, there's one. Ah, you're in my way, man. Probably not going to do too much to him, but we marked him. Do not want to get hit by his heat F or his, yeah, his heat FS rounds, but let's see if we can get some gunshots into him again. Oh, he's down. Did not get an assist, which is not surprising because I really didn't do anything to him. At best, I marked him. All right, we took the A point. Well done, boys. Can we move up? Probably can. The real question is, should we move up? Yeah, I was just going to say, there's one right up there. Oh, crap. We didn't lose anybody. Oh, that's fun. We need to make sure he doesn't realize he can hit me with... HE. Come on, come on, turn, turn, turn. No! Damn. Oh, that's the Italian-Hungarian one. I'm like, wait a minute. Where do they have... He shoots again. I'm going to try and disable his barrels. Air coming. It's an XP-55. Oh boy. Alright, the tiger is moved. We need to get out of here. Reload, boys. Okay. For now, we're slightly pinned down by that tiger, but we're safe. Tigers. Okay. There he is. Come on, guns. Come on, guns. Come on, guns. Rotate, 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 rotate. Mm. 
turret rotation is not good enough. He's dumb enough to turn in this way. Well, sort of, not really. What? How, Gaijin? How? Alright, I went ahead and bought the uh, tricolor man camouflage because, well, I'm really glad I did because uh, the desert camouflage on a big green map like this just doesn't seem like a good way to go. So, here we are in battle two. It is not a max up tier because we don't have a nuclear bomber option. Interesting. So I'm going to try and get somewhere where I can watch this basically up to here and watch across that way. That seems like the way to go. With this thing's guns. I don't know if the XP-55 fired his guns or if he just crashed into me and detonated the ammo. But that was kind of annoying. We did win, though. So that was good. Got pretty decent RP. I'm not using any boosters. Either RP or SL. This is a straight stock except for the premium account. Uh, trying to weasel in between the trees there. Weasel between the treesel. Alright. Boy, that slowed us right down to nothing. I don't recommend uh, serpentine maneuvers there. America, Japan, and Italy. Okay, we gotta watch out for more tigresses. I did end up taking out the tigress myself. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's the Cheeto. Great. I can't... Move, 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 move. I don't know if I have the gun depression to hit him. I got the gun depression to hit him. Killed his driver. Shot empty. Put a pretty good hurt into him, I think. Uh, what was that hit right next to me? 6A1's going down. I assume it was the Cheeto that hit me. Oh. That's not good. That is a jumbo. Yeah, we're not doing much to him. Uh, I don't like that. I could hurt whatever that is, prob. Never mind. Oh, I definitely could hurt that one. Or that M6 there. But that jumbo's just sitting on me watching me. I could obliterate that guy. Oh, well, he's dead. I could definitely hurt this one, but that one's an issue. Oh, maybe not anymore. Let's see. Let's chance it. Oh, it's not a jumbo. Well, that one's dead too, isn't he? Another M6A1. Ah, stay on him. Stay on him. Let's see if we can put some rounds into him. He backed off. Okay. Gotta watch out for the Cheeto. There's somebody right there. I thought that was somebody right there. Okay. Parallel to me? Well, mostly parallel to me. Okay, then. Well, uh, there we are, battle three. I was just trying to change my camo and it spawned in, so. I don't want desert camo in a winter map, but what can you do? Yeah, we got a bit of an up tier this time, for sure. 
Alright, let's go. Russia, Britain, and France on the enemy team. Okay. What we need to do is get a side ambush on people. Maybe just sit here and wait for them to drive through back there. Maybe. Then I can zip forward if I need to. That might be... That might work, because then if they cross up here... Now, if they come directly at me from up there, we're in trouble. We need to slam on the gas and haul ass behind here. But otherwise... This will work temporarily. We can set up a little ambush here, maybe. Well... All right, guess nobody's coming through there. All right, Tiger 2, let's go. somebody down there. I'm not driving out in front of that. Nope! Well, that's very unfortunate there. I think we can actually get out of here safely, though. You gotta be kidding me. He hit me on the move. Please. Please, Gaijin. Please with that. Okay, battle four. It isn't up here. Come on. Drive. Get them body pillows moving. Alright. Um, my idea here is to hang back a little from here and if necessary or a possible get up here and you know in to see if I can help capture C and then just watch down the lane towards Bravo. America, Russia, Britain, and Israel. Okay. I can make any progress heading up the hill here. So I assume if you bring up the sides, it's going to let you fire out of the front level and then upwards, but not the sides or the back. It seems like it would just be those three panels folding upwards, not the front panel. I hope. I hope against hope that the front panel doesn't also fold up and you're only able to look upwards. That seems like it would be a tragedy. Much like this thing's engine power. An absolute tragedy. Oh, Concept 3, that'd be fun to run into. That was a panther going down. So we're going to duck back a little. I do not want to run into a T26 E5. Yeah, that's bad. We lost a panther right up here to a T26 E5. Maybe I can make it into the cap, but at this point, we are not going to try. We are definitely not trying. We are not going for Charlie yet. I'm going to pull up right here and stop and wait for that D26E5 to be dealt with or to pass us by. That's one we're not going after. Without the HVAPs, I don't think I can do much to them, and it's a shame because all the targets I want at Bravo seem to be there. The Y forces have captured a zone. 
Yeah, that T26 E5 is having himself a time, isn't he? Well, now. Oh, boy. Can't tell if I'm hearing my friendly. Might be, but I don't think I am. Oh no, definitely not. Time to leave. Time to leave. I hope he doesn't have the gun depression. Come on. Speaking of gun depression, come on. Okay, we tracked him. Double tracked him. Can we get around him and do some actual damage? Maybe. Okay. Come on. Alright, that works for me. Let's get the hell out of here. Thank you, Elephant. Crap, 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 crap. All right, we need to take Charlie and get some ammo back. Okay, well, ah! Oh my God! What? We gotta get some ammo back. All right, 84 is down, that's good. Get in here. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Well, we're doing okay, aren't we? Let's get a partial capture credit here. So there was a P51 somewhere. I will take a capture and let's get some more ammo. Okay, enemy SPAA is back here. Probably could go looking for that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, dear. KV-85, that's less than ideal. It's right there. I see it. Oh, my God. At this point, I'm just trying to blow his barrel out. Not gonna work, I don't think. If somebody hit him, did I get an assist on him? Apparently not. Oh, come on. Oh boy, that's a long repair. Don't have a lot of crew. So that was probably back here, I bet. And we got that 94 KMs S12 to worry about that was blasting away at our. Uh... Ah, not surprising there. Something American hit me. 
Okay, ammo is good. Let's get the hell out of here. Probably not the best idea. Oh, good, M56. He's dead. What a shame. I could have killed him. Not that I could see him, but... Let's see if we can find that 94 KMs as 12. So we can definitely deal with him. Ah. He's already been dealt with. Okie doke. I'd like to see some airplanes. Ooh. Ah, uh, well. I don't think we're going to see any airplanes. Unless last dude is in an airplane. Okay, then. Well, this battle went fairly well for our side. Not a lot of kills on that one. Well then. I mean, I suppose I understand the no assist on that KV-85, but I read it as barrel out. Like, what do you want from me here, Gaijin? All right, battle five. We'll circle around Alpha. We get for okay. Well, we have at least some up here. Pretty hefty up here. All right. But we'll try and go in around this way and come down here. And we're going it alone. Well, some of our team's left to spawn in, so maybe that'll help. America, China, Italy, and Israel this time. Alright, we got some coming behind us, so that's good. The officer on the, uh, actually, the both loaders, the officer and the loader guy, look like they're both about to do a Hadouken power up punch. Just notice that while we're driving here. Is that an enemy? It was. Whatever it was, it didn't do anything. Sort of friendly force here, we do. That Panther is close. Huh. Look, he went back this way, probably. Nope. 
Nope. Good thing we pre-corner peeked, because that would have been real bad. Where, 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 where? Ah! Never mind. Back up. Oh, nice bomb. That took care of that. Yeah, that was a jumbo, too. I heard an airplane, but I guess it was not. IL-8's doing some work against the heavy tanks. Come on, 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 guns! Ah, uh, that'll do it, I think. Thank you. Guess I wasn't leading him far enough. Don't, please don't stop, Tiger. Shot to that guy. Ah! Uh huh. I bet that fused on a gun barrel. All right, battle six. The standard plan of get into the low ground here and chop them from the side with the old meat choppers here. Come on, Panther D, go faster. Go faster, Panther D. Go faster, Panther D. Well, that slowed us down a bit. All right, America, Japan, China, Israel on the enemy team not been able to see um, an M109 yet to cannonade the turret sides yet, but maybe. Anyway. Come on, entire team up at A. Move it out up there, entire team. One of them's getting there. They're gonna get B uncontested, that's for sure. Are we gonna stop them at A, or are we just gonna let them have it? Okay, he did, he did, he did contest it. Well done. Well done. Let's 
see it yet. That worked. Oh, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That one I don't like. That is a problem. Especially if it looks this way. I don't think I can hurt him even with HPS. Maybe mess up his uh, machine guns and or cannon barrel. Try to track him maybe. Not really hurting his cannon barrel much yet. Oh, that that was a I tracked him lost the gunner though kind of, yeah I was gonna say I'm surprised he's not just getting me with machine guns like what are you waiting for dude you have 350 cals on that thing very unfortunate that we ran into a t-34 because boy I had those m18s taken care of nicely oh well Battle 7. I possibly should have just gone with the desert camo here, but whatever. Um, where do we go? Where do we go? Actually, they also look like they're about to do some serious fire bending. Or no, not even fire bending. Actually, earth bending. They look like they're about to do some massive earth bending. So what I'm going to do is cross over here and come up around Bravo that way. Let these guys go in for the cap, and we'll try and go in slowly around it. Slowly being the operative word. Alright, America, Russia, and Britain this time. No Israel yet. out there. Maybe, just maybe, I can catch that M41 on top of a hill here, unless, uh, he might be here. Better go here. I was gonna just go straight across there, but we'd be a bit high. We're already probably a bit higher than we should be right here. Alright, they're on Alpha. Let's see if we can see the guy at Alpha. And let's stay away from that already coming down. There's not anything we want to be near. Ah, oh, they're in Bravo, are they? Maybe. Never mind. Hey, maybe I can do something about that, but I don't believe that I have to. Ooh, an IS-2. That's frightening. Aha! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Meat chopping time. We really can't kill that thing? Oh, 
lost two crew members. Alright, come on. Ooh. Alright, let's go. I think we lost some ammo there. Yeah, definitely. Uh oh. Oh no! Come on, guns! More planes coming. Friendly or hostile? Hostile. the other one go. We're gonna have to get ammo. Actually, we need to get ammo, like, right now. Boy. Most of the zones are under control. I was afraid of that. The IS-2 is at Bravo. Yeah, we are in trouble right now. We are in a lot of trouble right here. Ooh. Almost. Our victory is near. We're gonna have to be careful with how we use our ammo right now. Oh, we could go get some at A, I guess. I wonder where that IS-2 is. That is not our M18 that I hear. Got to be a hostile right up here. Attention to the map. It is. It's a Sherman. Crap. Hopefully he doesn't see me before I see him, or before I get a good shot into him. Uh, it's not an M. It's not a Sherman. God. Okay. All right, this is Battle Eight. We're gonna go up around this way because going to either of the caps at, you know, going to Charlie just seems like a great way to get artillery. And I don't want to go up to A this way, although, well, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, we're just gonna zip up here and go around this way. Come on, engine. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Where the hell is the Rotel? Where the hell is it? Oh my god. Move. Time to go. Artillery bad. Artillery very bad. Can't depress the gun. We can't depress the gun. Was trying to hit the brakes and slam backwards to drop the guns. They wouldn't drop. What a shame. All right, Battle 9. Um, well, I'm not going to go to Charlie because of the aforementioned artillery from last battle. 
But I don't want to go up the back road either, so... I don't know. Guess... We'll sit at the edge of Charlie, and if artillery starts falling, we are bailing. Definitely an up tier. Massive up tier. That's amazing. That's just amazing. That is just amazing. Oh, get out of here with that fusing, Gaijin. Give me a break. Crew position. Well, here's Battle 10. Had some pretty awful teams in the last couple battles. But, you know, it's the way it goes, I guess. Alright, I will try to go up here and catch him down that way. This time. may do another first ten with this thing when I get the HVAPs, I think. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, Tiger. I'll help you with that bit. That's the best I'm going to do for you. America, Japan, Sweden, and Israel this time. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, get through it. Get through it. Get through it. Come on. Come on, break through it. Come on! Thanks, Panther. There we go. There's the first M109. I knew it was coming. I could hear the engine. Second one, yes. There we go. That's more like it. Panther, go. Great. Heavy tank right there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Well, final thoughts for the, uh, Zestur... No, sorry. Zestur... 45. Uh... It's alright. It's probably best used as an anti-aircraft vehicle, not as a first spawn. But the meat chopping abilities are there. I mean... Can do stuff with it. Just, uh... You know. It's alright. 
Uh, I don't see that guy at all. Is there anybody on the end of the bridge? No, it doesn't look like it. Seem to have that spot covered. Okay, here we go. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a decent vehicle. It's certainly not terrible. And uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. We'll see you in the next first 10. What? What? Okay. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought. We'll see you, uh, see you in whatever we decide to drive next. Um, I likely will do one with the HVAPs, because I would like to see how the HVAPs work on this thing against, uh, ground targets. So, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Look at them all up here. Let me know what you guys thought of this one, and we'll come back and try it again. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs>